In this lesson, I am going to talk on packages. So far, while we have been programming, I'm sure you have noticed the package statement above. Now, there isn't anything special about packages. It's just used to group some Java components together. For example, we can use it to group a set of classes together. So you can have some classes under a particular package. To create a new package, I will go to source, that's SRC, right click and click on package. This new package, I'll call it lumel.obunude. Now we have two packages, lemobit.academy and lumel.obunude. Lemobit.academy has a class called main. Let's call the class we are creating in Limelobunide home. Just a simple class that has a simple method called talk. This method is going to print out hello. So this is in a different package called Limel.obunude. So home and main are in totally different packages. Let's see what happens when I try to create a new object of home in main. When I try to create a new object of home, IntelliJ automatically imports the package. If you look above, you would see Limel Obunude.home. So it has imported this class. For me to use this class, in the main class. For you to use a class in another package, you have to import it. You also have inbuilt packages existing already by Java. Java groups its classes in packages as well. If you don't want to use the import statement, for example, if we remove the import statement, there will be an error. Java is saying, hey, there ain't no home in this package. I can tell it explicitly to go to the package limel.obunude and find the class home. Sometimes you might see something like this, but um, you wouldn't see this all the time. Normally, we would just import it instead of directly pointing it to the package and to the class. We have some common built-in packages. For example, if we try to create a scanner object, remember the scanner that we used to collect input from the user, you would see that IntelliJ automatically imports scanner for us. This scanner class is in a package called java.util. That is an existing package in the JDK. Our home class is created by us and it is existing in the limuel.obunide package. We are the one that created that. For scanner, it exists in the JDK and it exists in a package called java.util. There are other packages. Let us inspect this scanner class. We hover over it, press command or control and click. If we go to the top of the class, you would see package java.util. So that should prove that hmm, this is belonging to java.util package. There is no limit to the amount of subdirectories a package can have. For example, it mustn't have two levels like java.util or limel.obunide. You can have more levels. For example, this next package I am going to create will have three directories. So I can say student.limel.co. And then I create a class called home there. Something to note, 
now we have two packages with home that is allowed you cannot have a package with two classes that have the same name so you can have classes that have the same name in different packages but now that i have home inside this particular package student.limel.co i cannot create another class called home again if i attempt to do that i would have an error so this is a quick overview of packages we will dive deeper as we move on